<laughs> Can't make this stuff up. <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah, definitely. That is a big red. What happened to you? Tell me, what happened? Did you get attacked? Who was it? What do you look like? Get away. You got it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a nice fish. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever it was, he grabbed it good. I only have 10 pounds on here. You can see he's got me bent over pretty good. Come here, buddy. I'll come to the back, Kenny, if you want. Fish off the front. I'm gonna go behind you. He whacked that thing. I guarantee you it's a shark. Hmm? I said, I guarantee it's a shark. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's a bull red. And that's a little hook too, man. That wasn't a, a bigger hook. So I was surprised that didn't pull right back out. No, it's a big red. Yep. Whoa, baby. Yep. Yeah, definitely. That is a big red. How about that? Ah, uh, that was a lot of head shakes. This is a, I'll come up to the front. I'll switch with you. And then you can add him as I slide him to you. Come on, come on. Yeah, he's hooked good. All right, here you go. He's upside down. Yeah, baby. How's that for a shark? <laughs> nice, let's bring him on up to the front. Gee whiz, my board only goes to 30. And she is nose pinch tail 29. Whew. How's that for a 29 inch redfish on a two inch mud minnow? All right, we'll get her back in. big fight after a fight like that with her all I'm gonna do is just keep her faced into the current just like this I got my hand on her tail and once I feel her start to kind of kick around I'll release these bokas and let her swim off now the key with this is to not push them up and down just kind of work them left and right like they swim and that'll work that lactic acid out a lot of people want to push and pull the fish like I need to drag water across the gills that's not what needs to happen we got to get the lactic acid out. Big fish, big fight. We want to give her a good release. So we're just going to take our time with her, keep working back and forth. You know what? I'm going to grab one more measurement. This thing's got a scale on it. Oh, 11 pounds. <laughs> okay, there we go. She's alive. She's kicking. Bye, baby. How about that? On the mud minnow. No Z-Man today. All right, so now I got my cameraman. Let me guys show you what the, the rig that I'm using for that, <laughs> that bull red. This is the Falcon Coastal Clearwater Series. This is that seven foot six medium rod. This is a really stout rod. This is a little stouter than my medium heavy Coastal XG Series. Uh, got 10 pound Power Pro. This is that Shimano Nasky 3000. If you guys remember the video I did, I was talking about a 4000 for a bull red. This 3000 just handled that 29 inch, uh, 11 pound bull red easy. So I know that 4000 is not gonna have any issues. 
My um, leader to main line is connected with a uni to uni. I've done uh, six turns on both. This is a 50 pound piece of top shot. It's about eight inches long. Just a basic fisherman knot with a little tag in here. Go into this Paradise Bomber popper court. Uh, this is the one that I like because it's nice and flexible like this. It's got a concave head. Uh, it's got the nice brass beads at the bottom. I like the noise this makes. My leader is 20 pound uh, Andy Mono. This is about an 18 inch piece. And I scaled my hook down because I was wanting to go after some trout out here and the bigger hooks, uh, they weren't quite, quite grabbing after the minnows and the shrimp is easy. So I switched my hook down. This is just an eighth ounce gotcha. If you guys can see, this is a very narrow gap hook as it's compared to my finger right here. So that's why I was really surprised that that shark that I thought I had on uh, stayed on. Uh, but I had the hook set nice and deep. But this is it. This is all it takes to get out here and catch these fish, big fish. But this will be the rod that I use to catch little 12 inch trout and the rod I use to catch 29 inch redfish. So there you go. Here's your rigging tip for the day. All right, so now let me show you the type of spot I'm fishing. So we're out here in the sound. This is just happens to be a nice little point. There's oyster shells going all the way around. We have the current incoming, or the tide is coming in. The current is ripping from our left to right. What we're doing is we're throwing into the current break. So if you guys can possibly see, there's a seam where you have fast moving water and slow moving water. Now we've been throwing into the slow side and we picked up a little junk fish. Um, and then I switched over to a minnow because our shrimp are real small, a mud minnow. Threw that in um, about five feet off of the edge of the shells and grasses right here. We're throwing up current, letting our cork float down. We're, flo we're both fishing about the same uh, uh, depth on the leader, giving a couple pops and just waiting. And this is all we're going to do. We're covering water this way. Left, let it float down and down to the right. So this is the type of spot that you guys want to see on a big, on a big map. If you looked at the, uh, the underwater topography, you'll see a nice depth change. So you got a depth change, you got grasses, you got oysters, you got bait. The, the sonar or the fish finder hasn't stopped chirping since we pulled up. So everything is here to, to indicate that it's a good fishing spot. You just have to wait on the fish and mud manners. So that was a hit. Fish over there. Another one. Got him. Yeah. Oh, that's another good one. Yeah. That might be another redfish. Come on, buddy. <laughs> I'm going to hold tension on him here if you want to grab this net. Coming up. Oh, big trout. Whoa, baby. <laughs> there. When you think you hook the redfish and you pull a trout out of the water, that's a whole nother different game. Let me grab those bokas again. Jeez, man. Holy cow, big girl. I know. I know. Calm down. Out. Done. Come here, let me get your belly. How's about that for a trout? Gee, my knee. It is big fish city over here, Kenny. Sure. Let's see what this measures out to. Heavy. Let's, where's our weight? Five pound trout. <laughs> All right. Let's put her down, be careful. She's got some eggs right here in her big old tummy. In her big old tummy. All right, tail pinched. 21. How's about that for a trout? Now, I'm wanting to keep trout today, but I have a, a personal rule for these big girls. I put them back. She's got a big old fat tummy right here. She's full of eggs. And I want her to be able to go back, lay these eggs, so we can come out here and catch them again another day. So here's what I do with my big trout. Same thing, just give him, give him a chance to revive. It shouldn't take long in this current. All right. How's about that? Yeah, I let it slide back a little bit more and she was bang right there. Just to give you guys an update at home, I am working on a Trailer Park Slam t-shirt. So if you want one of those things, drop a big thumbs up and let me know. I'm gonna have to get a feeler out and see how many of these things I really gonna make. 
But if y'all want them, let me know. All right, buddy. You're next. Might have got into his skull a little bit. He's still wiggling. He ain't dead. Got it. Yeah, got him. Okay, buddy. Off you go. Buddy. Yeah. Got him. Yeah, they're in there. They're in there. It ain't the biggest flounder in the world. Oh, quick release. <laughs> All right, you guys, well, that's gonna wrap up today's episode. Me and Kenny were able to get out here and get on some nice trout and a big old redfish. So thank you guys for the support. Take care, God bless.